Hey y'all, it's Sarah over here at Violin Tool Supply. I am coming to you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing how to upload a custom DTF onto our website. We are going to be starting off right here in our website, which is vinylandtoolsupply.com. If you're under the DTF transfers, then you're going to drop it down to the custom DTF transfers and you'll find yourself under this product. This is where you're going to find all the different sizes that you can choose from on how to upload your print. If you're just doing single sizes, like um, a couple prints, then you can choose single sizes right here from 4x4 to 12x12. Now when you want to start doing gang sheets, if you're having a hard time building a gang sheet, we're going to show you how to do that right now. So stay tuned and follow along. Alright, so I want you guys to jump over to canva.com. Uh, this is going to be a editing website that you can build a game sheet in. So if you come over to create a design, you're going to see an option that says a custom size. We are going to use this feature right here and click custom size. We have a couple of different sizes that you can choose from. The most uh, popular sizes, if you're not doing giant gang sheets, are usually a 22 by 2 foot or a 22 by 5 foot. So I'm going to show you how to build both of those today. First we're going to go ahead and switch our units over to inches. Our width we're going to sit at 22 and our height we're going to set at 60 inches because that's how big 5 feet are. We're going to lock that design in and press create new design. You're going to come to a screen that looks like this. And I want you to go ahead and bring in your designs that you're going to want to use. I have some that are featured on our website over here. So I'm going to use some of these today. All of these do come standard with no background so that's what we're looking to do is make sure that we're knocking out backgrounds and making sure that everything has a clean clear transparent background so as you can see here it says untitled design that right there is 22 by 60 inches so you know that this space right here is what you're going to be able to work with Okay, now that we've made it this far, I want you to go ahead and bring in a design. I'm going to choose this mama design right here, and as you can see, it's now on my template. What I'm going to do is choose this option right here that says background remover. Now you do have to have the pro version for this feature, but I highly recommend getting the pro because not only can you use the features for DTF, but you can use them for an immense amount of crafting. So again, you do have to have the pro. I do believe that they offer a trial version and then if you like it, then you can subscribe. Um, I have no affiliation with that. However, um, this is an awesome tool and feature and it's available to basically any and all crafters. So we went ahead and removed the background. I'm going to be honest, this one didn't have one, but if yours does, that's exactly how you do that, is you just press remove background. So we're going to go ahead and size this to a size that I would like. I'm going to go for standard 10 by 10. So as you see, I'm just moving this cursor right here. And when I move that cursor, what happens is I can see the different size right here. So that's exactly what you're going to want to do is size your image exactly how you want it and then gang up your images. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this one for the sake of this video and just basically mimic all the way down. So as you can see here, if you had, let's say, a birthday or a family reunion or a vacation or a business and you wanted to do multiple of the same image this is exactly how you can do that now see this whole side right here what I have is basically blank space so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this duplicate shrink it and you can basically just use the space to the best of your ability because you're paying for that space. So this is why it's called a gang sheet is because you can essentially 
just gang these images up as many times as you would like and fill the space and I like how this looks so we're gonna go ahead and come over to the share and from share I want you to press download and I want you to put your size right in the middle click transparent background a PNG and download. Now you have your 22 by 60 inch design. It's going to download and then we're going to upload it into our website. Okay, so now that we have uploaded our image, we are going to go ahead and come to our website which is vinylandtoolsupply.com. We're going to choose the 22 by 5 foot because that's the size that we just created. We're going to come here to this little space that says drag and drop your files. We're going to click that and choose the design that we just created and press open. This image is going to pop up here. You don't need to do anything with this. You just press upload. What's going to happen is it's going to start uploading here. Wait for this to completely load. Once the image is done loading, you can see that this has no background. There's no white space or anything on the background or holding. You want to make sure that that looks exactly like that. So not the image, but so that there's no white background. This now says upload complete. We're going to press add to cart. And now that's in my cart. If you would like to um, upload multiple designs, what you need to do is press the refresh button and that's going to go ahead and restart that um, page and you can upload another image and choose a different size, keeping that other design and link to that image in your cart. Well, we just finished our five foot design, so if you are just looking to do a two foot, so a 22 by two foot design, we're going to go ahead and come back here to create a design. We're going to choose custom size, brings us right back here. Now we're going to put, again, make sure we're back in inches. You're going to keep your width as 22 and then your height is going to be 24. I'm going to make sure that's unlocked at first and then lock it once you set it. And then we're going to press create new design. Now as you can see this design is much smaller than what you saw previously. That's because this again is 22 inches by 24 inches, so about 2 feet and a little under 2 feet. So this is going to be good for if you had maybe two 10 by 10s and some smaller designs to fit in. So let's go ahead and build a 22 by 2 foot gang sheet. We're going to come over to uploads and we are going to again choose some from our library. If you guys just like single images then you can choose these from our library. We've got a ton of different options. I'm going to keep it simple and again just use one design. I like this rise up with kindness so I'm going to bring it to about Let's do a 12 by 12. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to put it as close as I can over here. And then I want to use the most of my space. So I'm going to duplicate again. And look at that. I can even fit it in this little space. Let's see if we can fit another one. I think we're okay. Now keep an eye on this little spot. If you guys are sending us designs that are this close to each other on your gang sheet, you have to hand cut this away with scissors so that way when you're cutting just do not cut the ink. You can cut the film but do not cut the ink. Alright, so this seemed to upload four. What size are these? Uh, 12 by 12 designs. So 
For this particular design on a 22 by 24, I got four of this particular design. I want to maybe, I don't know, do some little keychains or koozies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, take this. Maybe I want to do like a little logo inside the shirt. Or, I don't know, tag. You can do all kinds of stuff with these. These are DTF transfers. So, get creative, think about it, and test your options, guys. There's a lot out there that you can do with these. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with this. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight designs on this 22 by 24 inch. We're gonna go ahead and name this 22 by 24. I'm going to press the share. We're going to press download and we're going to press right in the middle. We're going to drag our cursor to two, press transparent background, make sure that image is a PNG and press download. This is going to now upload into your files and you'll upload it into our website. So we're going to go back to vinylandtoolsupply.com under the custom DTF prints. We're going to go down to our sizes and we're going to choose the 22 by 2 foot. It's going to be $15 and you're going to come over to drag and drop your files and choose that design that we just made. Again, all you have to do is press upload and that's going to start loading right here. Wait until it's completely uploaded, and then we're going to press add to cart. And now you have your previous design, which we created before, and you also have your one that we just created right now, the 22 by 2 foot. And then you're going to go to check out with whichever way you're comfortable with, and that's how you submit a gang sheet. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, drop them below. Thanks.